open the phones up again for first time callers on any subject or any topic you wish to discuss here on the broadcast today. And I'm going to go over a ton of news. Obviously, uh, Telly Blackwood, who's an accomplished comedian uh, and professional uh, wrestler, and uh, he had a very popular YouTube channel with over 9 million views on it. The YouTube channel, his Google account uh, that you have to have via email to have a YouTube now, which uh, really violates uh, monopoly laws, but that's another issue. Uh, and all of his other Google-related accounts were suspended, and no notice was even given to him of why his account uh, was suspended. You don't get three strikes. You don't get any of that now. They just delete you because he did a satire piece where George Washington comes back from the past to the future uh, and in a comedy skit, waterboards an obese Michael Moore and Piers Morgan. And we're going to air part of this censored video here that is extremely tame. We've had, it's very funny though, we've had over 500 good entries for the Operation Paul Revere video contest. And I said we would begin to announce uh, the winners after July 4th. And, and by the end of July, I should be able to announce the first place winner. Uh, I knew this would be a big deal, but it has basically dominated probably 20, 30% of our time around here, which is a good thing. Just trying to watch all of these and trying to categorize them and trying to post them on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Uh, there's only a... 30 or so up on the YouTube channel. We need to add all the new ones on there. Uh, it is a monumental task. We're building a special page that'll have maybe the top 50 or so uh, of these videos, but it's so hard uh, to, to, to judge them because some people uh, either didn't email the right address or the spam filter blocked it because we're finding people that made the deadline uh, of getting them posted on YouTube and one other video site. But we didn't see them till later, so we're trying to find all the entrants as well uh, to make sure. And let me tell you, if you think judging a beauty contest or a baking contest or a uh, acting contest is hard, imagine having 500 at least good videos. Over 100 of them are incredible. Some of them are better than what you see on mainstream television. Like a lot of them are. And my head is spinning. So the Operation Paul Revere has been an incredible success. David Knight's trying to head up collating and getting it all together with some of the other crew uh, like uh, Max Cabrera. Um, but again, not only once this contest in about a month, you know, the winners have been announced, not only will you, 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 you have it announced by then, we will then for months after be having people on as guests that were entrants and trying to talk to people that are not just the top three winners for $120,000 in prize money, uh, but others about what are their ideas to try to make films with InfoWars.com. And all of this is going to be going on while I put together which is really shaping up to be my greatest film ever, Obama Deception 2. That won't be its technical name. It'll be Obama Deception something, uh, part two. But we're in the midst of working on that, uh, and we're in the midst of finishing up the new studio, and we're in the midst of, obviously, uh, trying to run the operation here to fund ourselves. And I'm not complaining. It's just that it's a full-time job. I mean, what I could do if I just had the money sitting there like the private fellow reserve does that can make up any amount of money it wants and give it to the, to itself. What I could do if I didn't have to go out in the destroyed, uh, crippled, uh, dying free market in the middle of a global depression slash recession, depending on what region you're in, and just battle to try to morally find the right products and sponsors to then make money to put it all, all, into this operation. It is definitely historical. And uh, to see what's happening and to realize that 
Google delisted Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com about four years from the news aggregators. Google says their mission is to be the web, and, 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 and they are becoming the web, and they are above the law. They're allowed to, to illegally spy when nobody else can. Uh, they're allowed to run monopolies and violate copyright when nobody else can. Uh, they're allowed to spy on people illegally and then not even get in trouble because they are a front for the global corporate government. The global corporatists don't want governments that can change hands with all the power. They want a government as a front with a global corporate government above it that's above the law with diplomatic corporate immunity, which is now being established. And to see them all over YouTube now, you search our videos, you can't find almost all of them on the Alex Jones channel and some of our other backup channels that have 400 and something million views just on them and then hundreds and hundreds of millions of views on other channels. But you can find them on other people's channels who have listened to me over the years and don't put my name in any of the search functions. Not in the title, not in the description. And then those videos will get 100,000, 500,000 views. And it is totally freaking the globalist out. Because we have just been uh, taking over uh, YouTube, owned by uh, the Pentagon and the globalist and the offshore banks. We have absolutely been using it against them. And so now they're going in using any excuse to, oh, um, you do a joke of waterboarding. Michael Moore, you know, it's okay to show that on all the TV shows. It's okay to show that on the family channels, you know, on, on, on ABC. I mean, they show all sorts of violence. And they're doing all sorts of things where if we search Secrets of World War Z leaked, and they didn't get us for copyright, they didn't ban the video, because all we did was show stills of it, and it's fair use to critique it, even if we showed the video, it says no videos found when it turned out there's over 100 copies of it on there. So they are delisting us right now every way they can like we're a cancer. When in truth, we are trying to cut out the cancer. So understand, ladies and gentlemen, when you hear this broadcast, they are testing their, their systems of censorship and control against Infowars.com. And just as you see police all over the United States come over and tell people, don't videotape me in public, and then break their cameras and arrest them and charge them with false charges. And as you see police uh, tasering people that simply ask for a warrant at their front door, this is because the police are being twisted and basically mutated into what police have been in every other authoritarian regime. And there's a battle within the police as well uh, where a lot of police are actually waking up. The problem is so many departments are under federal guidelines and, are, have, and have been federally programmed that when you say, no, you can't search my car, you don't have a warrant, that they flip out on you and in some cases physically attack you or verbally berate you. There's a new video, a small town cop throws tantrum in response to knowledgeable citizen uh, that's up on Infowars.com. So these are the type of issues. We know what tyranny looks like and we know that it's here. And we know that if we don't speak out against it and wake up as a society, things are just going to get more and more decadent, more and more uh, obscene, more and more corrupt, more and more ridiculous. As the aberrant tyrants act out against the public, subconsciously begging someone to stop them. This is the nature of criminology. And if you look at the government and the bureaucracy and the way that they behave, they are a group of control freaks, sociopaths, psychopaths, and mental patients who are trying to sell their system of corruption as trendy to the general public and trying to create government special interest groups that are given special protection 
by the government to make up the cult gang guilds that will be uh, the enforcers uh, of their tyrannical system. But it's very important to understand the, the, the globalists are doing everything they can so that you can't hear this show, so that you can't watch this show, so that you can't go to Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And as their big cyber command system goes online, that's on record to shut down the free web and to sabotage websites and to create internet IDs where you're just banned from the web, this is their open plan and this is what's happening. And we are seeing a massive intensification of it going on right now because we are effective. But they're doing it to many other people as well. That's why it's so essential for every freedom lover out there to do your own YouTube videos and on one other alternate channel because they may delete you or ban you. That way they don't destroy what you've built. That's why it's vital to start your own blog or website. That's why it's vital to start your own local radio show or to do something, to write a book, whatever, to flood them with truth. That is how we will basically overwhelm the enemy. Toll free number to join us. 800-259-9231. First time callers yet again, 800-259-9231. On any issue you wish to discuss, big news on a host of issues. Straight ahead, stay with us. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15 day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.